Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser and I am over here. And I am Jimotech and I'm over here. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for, for Advantage. advantage. Strike leader Pulo Jacevo cursed his luck as the raging storms on Kara 9 had fractured his shards transmit beam scattering the strike troops under his command across the planet's surface. The landing had not gone according to plan, and before he could continue with the task given to him by the intel, he needed to regroup his forces while avoiding the Al Gorin garrisoned on the planet. Issuing clear orders out over his communicator to his missing men, all he could do now was trust in their superior shard training and that his troops would be able to evade the Al Gorin AI squads hunting them and regroup at the rendezvous site. Beyond the gates of Antares, mate, strike on Kara 9, mission one or scenario one, as it says in the book. Can you even see that there? Look at that. Jimo Tech and I, during a lockdown, got yeah. hold of this game. Uh, it's a cheap starter set, and we're going to play through the introductory missions, which carefully scaffold the rules. Yeah. It is very similar to Bolt Action for those that have played before, but the people who've not played Bolt Action before include Jimo Tech. Yep. <laughs> um, I've seen it on the channel. But you've seen it on the channel. So the start, the objective with this mission is these three Concord troopers. Each counts as a separate unit. You've got to try and get off the other side of the board. Like a lot of these start set rules, many of the rules are not in play. Um, so there's no pins. There's no. There's all kinds of rules that those that you know know how to play Antares about should be like. This should have happened. That should have happened. Yeah. This is scaffolded to teach you the core mechanics of the game. And this first mission is really just about movement and a little bit of shooting. So here we go with the forces. There are one, two, three Concord Strike Troopers who are bringing a little bit of a Martian basin material around with them. <laughs> and Gymotex are in units of two. These are what are these guys called? Algorin AI Troopers. And AI is not about artificial intelligence, it is about uh, armoured infantry. That's I think the one. It's called, yeah? Yep. All right. So the box itself comes with a little bit of cardboard scenery and a pip map, but we're playing on this green board because it doesn't suit either of our basing conventions. Nope. Um, so let's have a look at round one. Here we go with round one then. So Jimotech's gonna be pulling the dice out of the bolt action bag. The red ones are the Algorin, which is Jimotech, and the other color, green, uh, are the Concord Troopers, which is me. I'm colorblind, but I'm pretty sure they're not red. Let's have a little <laughs> peek, see if it's me. There you go. Is oh, that red? It's burgundy or maroon. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, so that's me. And I'm gonna go with these guys over here. Uh, do I get to measure before I shoot Kaiser? I believe pre-measuring is allowed. I okay. don't think I've read anywhere that said it isn't. Good. I will do a good amount but of you know pre-measuring. It might be, <laughs> but this is a learning game, right? All right. So I am out of uh, range for my best shooting profile. So what's the detriment of shooting from outside of that? So if you play ball action, you don't tend to have much in the way of modifiers, but this game has a few more. And at long range, you're going to have a penalty. Alrighty, so we had a quick look at the rules. It took us a while to find the penalty range penalties because they're written in the headband of the table. So long range is minus one accuracy. Units all have a stat profile. Yes. You have an accuracy value of five on those guys. Yep. It's a D10 system um, and you have modifiers. So one, you're just taking a fire order. Yep. So you're more accurate, gives you plus one yep. to, your, to your skill, taking you to six. But you're a long range, minus one, taking you back down to five. Yep. Both models are going to shoot at once. I'm going to shoot over at this guy. So two dice looking for fives. And it's target number or less in this game. Ooh, two misses. Two misses. Right, I was almost getting ready to move, but that's not necessarily no. what's going to happen, is Let's it? Let's have a little shake of the pot. Oh, it is the Kaiser. It is. Right, so now I know that this guy's already taken his shot. And my objective is just to get off the table. I'm going to straight up run this guy. And so then I'm going to wonder, your run, marker? run order. It's cheesing it, mate. 
Oh, scoring. Kaiser again. Whoop. I'm going to do the same with this guy then. So a run order is basically a double move, and units seem to move five inches in this game. It actually says that in the text as, rather yeah. than the stat line. So that may be for all units. Kaiser once again. It's me again. Now this guy's got a bit more of a problem. The way that the terrain works in this game is you can see into it and out of it but not straight through it yeah is what how the area terrain works now 10 inch move is going to leave me horribly exposed over there so i'm going to run to here so up to but not into up to but not into that's correct and then the last dice will be me indeed it shall be sir. so i think i'm going to have to move if i want to shoot can i get into these so one guy can does that mean that only he will be able to shoot only he would be able to shoot i think okay i think that's what i've got to do yeah so they're up like this so you're going to take a shot so it's going to be a single shot it's going to be a single shot and, and that's a miss going to be a miss and that is the end of round one so we collect up the dice pop them back in the bag Give him a little shake. Here we go, round two, round two. First dice is me once Ooh, again. Ooh, boo. So I'm gonna go here, and they're gonna stand and shoot with the fire option. So, so James might, or Jim might want to shoot both targets here because there's a chance to kill them both. There is. But a whole unit must fire at a single target unit. So he's going to have to choose one of these guys. So I'm going to choose nearer of the two just because if it comes down to it, an, in, an eighth of an inch might, might matter. matter. Absolutely. So standing and shooting plus one to shoot. Yes. You're inside my short range, so no penalty. Mm. So I'm looking for sixes, sixes and below. Or less. Pew pew. Oh, that's just one. So technically you allocate hits to the unit and this matters because units may have mixed weapons and so forth. So what we would do is we would put a number of D10s down in the unit, allocate before we roll any dice. Now I've been hit, I have to make a resistance roll. So this is like a combination of the unit's toughness and its armor and so forth. My guys have a resistance value of seven and you have a mag, uh, mag gun, mag gun yeah. which has a strike value of one. So that drops me down to six. I've rolled a two, so I've rolled under my resistance. I'm all good. He is fine and dandy. So, next activation next is dice. Kaiser. Oh. Who are you going to choose for your next activation? I've just taken a cheeky slug of my drink there. <laughs> uh, right then. So, I think I'm going to advance this chappy, this chappy here. Ooh, so that's a advance. walk and then shoot. I'm going to walk to here and I'm going to take a shot one of these cheeky chappies. Now I have a different weapon. I have a plasma carbine, which I can single shoot or rapid fire. And I think I'm gonna rapid fire it. Okay. A pair of shots and my accuracy, I believe was also five. So looking for fives, pew, 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 pew. That's two, two hits. hits. So, so that would go to one on each. Yep. And because you went for the rapid fire, there's no, no strike, strike value. value. So I'm looking for Seven. uh, sevens. All Both good. fine. So my thinking here is, is I still needed two moves to get off. Yep. So I was hoping to reduce the incoming fire next turn. All right. And I moved this one because I didn't want to mask the movement or shooting of the other one. Yep. So next activation is me. Ooh. Right. So I think the only option that I've got is to move in slightly. Is there unit coherence? There is. Matters? You've got to be within an inch of one another. Okay, let's have a little look. So I kind of want to spread out just a little bit to give you a roadblock. Mm. There we go. So that's going to be two shots in two shots. my short range, but I've moved. So just fives. normal fives. That's Terra two hits. hits. And your strike value is minus one. So against my seven goes down, uh, to, sixes. So it goes down to sixes. I pass them both with Ooh. a three and a one. Hot dice, mate. Woo! Yeah. You've been putting them in the oven, that's so what it is. So now, already done it, mate. Already yeah. done it. Been in vinegar all night. Nice. Um, so we know the remaining two dice in the bag are actually both mine. So we can speed this last bit up, I think. I'm going to take a 10-inch run here. Would you mind moving that model for me, James? Because I'm not long enough. Thank you. And then this chappy. 
This cheeky chappy is, ooh. Does he do the same? Do we make a fight of it? Well, you can try. Do we make a fight of it? I think what we'll do is we'll run. Because <laughs> I don't think we're going to win the fight of it. There we go. He's going to run to there. Okay. Um, again, at the end of the round, we collect up the dice, put them back in the bag. Yep. Ready for round three. So here we are in round three. Uh, what are you thinking? So I'm thinking I could try and tie you up in combat, apart from we're not using those rules. <laughs> those rules are not available yet, mate. Which we haven't is unlocked that DLC. About that. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to have to shoot the crap out of you. You're going to have to shoot me, mate. You're have to so shoot let's me. just hope one of these is blue. It's not blue. It's not blue. Now then, I think I should definitely... Assuming that the pre-measuring may not be allowed, I'm just going to straight up run this guy off the table. Cool. So he runs off and his which, dice become... Which angle are you going to go? Uh, just... I'm going that way, obviously. All right, cool, cool, cool. So he runs off and then his dice becomes a victory point for me. So that's... Because he has, he's a scored a point. try. We'll pop your dude bro over there. Okay. So then the next draw, because I think the other two guys are more than 10. Ooh, they might be. Let's have a little look. Ooh, we'll find it's out. me again. Right, this guy... I'm going to assume you can't pre-measure. Okay. I'm going to move him there. And I'm going to take a shot over here. Again with the scatter shot, because I'm believing in that yep. crazy long chance. So I'm hitting you on fives, which is two hits, so one each. Okay. But there's no modifier to the strike value, so it's sevens. Nah, Fine food. and dandy. Right then, let's hope... This is blue. Hope without hope. Nope. It's me again! Of course it's not blue. Um, this chap is also going to advance. He's going to advance a little bit to here. And okay. again, he's going to take those pair of shots. Pew pew! And I get... Nothing. No hits. Not Boo. a bean. All right. So, we know the next two are mine. Indeed we do. These guys are going to shoot in here. Yes. So they're needing sixes because they haven't moved. Indeed. Two, two hits. hits. Strike value minus one. I've got sixes, sixes. here. He dared. And that's a victory point for you, sir. Okay, so it could be very decisive. These guys, mm. shots in. <gasps> no hits. No hits, right? Well, that is exciting because as we go into this final round. Yeah, 2v1. So. I've got a good chance of getting the initiative, but I think we'll whoever see my draws dice this, there's a very good chance whoever draws this dice wins the game. What if it's me? I do. Uh -huh. Aha! Oh, boom! There's a chance. Rigged it. There's Rigged a it. chance. Ball tampering. Ball tampering. <laughs> From inside the forest, we're yep. going to take some shots. Taking a pair of shots. So uh, sixes. Sixes. Is that That's one hit? One hit. But strike value minus one, so sixes. Sixes. Yes! He's fine. <sighs> right. This is it. Come on. Come All on, to play come on, for. Come on. Come on. Come on. woo oh. And he cheeses it like a pro. He's off. Woo! So that's a victory point for Kaiser. There we go. That was our first look at the first mission in the Strike on Kara 9 set. Yeah. If you're interested in playing Antares, you can, of course, buy the starter set, Strike on Caranine, from our online store at modelingforadvantage.co.uk. Thank you for watching. What do you think, James? I, I thought this, if you've never played this system before, you got hands on the activation, yep. basic shooting, and they quite balanced. It was quite balanced, it wasn't a bad game. No. I mean, it probably took us 10 minutes, right? Yeah. But, but I wouldn't, I didn't feel cheated, I didn't feel I was like literally being told, move here, no. press this button, you know, like no. tutorial on a computer yeah, yeah, yeah. type thing. I felt I was playing a game, there was tactics around moving yeah. through the forest and stuff. You could stop just shy of it, which... Yeah, yeah. I mean, he didn't survive, but <laughs> no, no. he gave it his best effort. But he, he applied some skills. I was, for an introductory scenario, I'm pretty pleased with that. I didn't feel robbed by the experience in any way. No. All right, we'll see you in the future for mission two. Thank you for watching.